some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Oregon, where we encounter a smooth brain softard who, well, doesn't believe in the law to begin with, and uh, driving without all the amenities such as tag, insurance, plate, and everything like that. And he finds himself, uh, well, getting arrested. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. No problem, sir. Just the reason for the stop today is I noticed that you don't have a valid driver's or a license put on the vehicle right now. What do you have here? That is a questionnaire with the notification that I am a lawful traveler, sir. Oh, no, not one of these bloody questionnaires. Uh, you know, dude, these things are as about as valuable. Well, actually, the uh, paper and ink used to print these things off would be a lot more valuable if you would use them to, uh, well, print off paperwork that actually had some validity to it, at, with like... Uh, actual documents such as the law to show you that you are a complete imbecile when it comes to this kind of thing but no you're just gonna waste time print, uh making up this stuff so you don't have to look up the actual laws because making up bullshit is so much easier than doing actual research isn't it uh, I can already is, hear you, sir, is there an, is there an emergency i can assist you with well no sir the reason i'm I, well the reason you, you don't have a license plate as you're required to have the state i have a i have a statement that i am not for hire if you read that Okay. And understand, um, do you understand that I am not for hire? Okay. <laughs> Number one, I am not a commercial driver. Do you understand this? I understand. All right. Therefore, by law, okay. I am not required in my recreational vehicle. Okay to have a license or registration. Oh boy, are you the deeply uneducated numbskull. You do realize that the Tenth Amendment grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution? And guess what? This is not covered in the Constitution, therefore Oregon has the right to create the laws based around it. And here they are. So why don't you get up off your lazy ass and go read them and educate yourself on what the laws actually are instead of pulling them out of your ass. Information's on this stuff that you Yes, sir, it is. Well, I'll, there's I'll a question. I'll definitely oblige and I'll take a look at that stuff, but do you have a driver license or anything? No, sir, I don't have any ID with me at all. You don't? Okay. I'm not required by law to carry ID. Okay. Thank you're aware you. in the state of Oregon if you're driving a motor vehicle on the highway or required to carry and present your driver's license? I'm well, not driving a motor vehicle, okay. sir. Well, yeah. I won't argue that point with you. I understand your point of view on those I'm kind traveling. of things, okay? What I do is I enforce the Oregon laws, okay? So I, I am required to ask you for that stuff, and you're required to provide that stuff. But since you don't have that on you, would you mind uh, providing me with your uh, name and date of birth? No, sir. My name is I am. Okay, Mr. I am. Let's go ahead and add this to your moniker right there. I am a moron who fails to understand this particular law right here because I am too damn lazy to go out and do research and therefore I have just committed another crime by not identifying according to Oregon State laws. Gee! Well, who could ever figure that out? Your name is I am. Okay, well that's going to be a problem for me. Yes, it is because I don't have an. I don't own a name. Okay. The the government issues names for people, but uh, I was not born with a name. I do not own a name. Um, okay. All so, right. where did you get that freaking bullshit from? Because. When you're born, your parents are generally the ones that give you a name. And later on in life, you can change it as you wish, but your parents still gave you that name, not the government. Well, do you have a name that you go by besides I I, I do not, sir. Do you have a name that you were given when you were born? Uh, um, I do, but I'm not uh, going to... If, a question. 
Is it true that anything I say can and will be used against me in the court of law? Well, right now, sir, the only crime that you could potentially be committing would be fail to carry and present your driver's license. Uh, and I, here's, here's, here's the deal. As long as I can ID you, I don't want to go that route if we can. So a name and date of birth work for me just so I can verify that you have a valid driver's license and privileges in the state of Oregon. And the only, and we can go I there. don't. The problem is if you don't, then in the eyes of the state of Oregon, you are committing a crime. And at which point, then I will read you your Miranda rights to make sure that you are aware of what they are. I will also read you yours if Sheer fucking hubris. You read in there, well, there are I, subjects that you are opening yourself up to, sir. Okay, I don't well, believe again, you I, want to get involved As in. I stated, I would oblige you on that. I'll take a look at this. Please do, sir. But I'd like this to kind of be a two-way street where we can work together on this. Well, I would when too, I contact but, somebody, I'd like to know who I'm talking to. I obviously know that your name is not I am, okay? So... Um, I, I don't, I, I'm not at liberty to give you my name, and I refuse on the, on the grounds that that tends to incriminate okay. me. Well, here's what I'll do then, sir, because I have explained to you that failing to carry and present a driver's license in the state of Oregon is a crime. So I'm going to read you your rights so that you understand your rights, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while being questioned. You have to afford to hire a lawyer. One be appointed to represent you before being questioned if you wish. If you do get a statement, you can stop talking anytime you wish. Do you understand those rights? No, sir, I do not I understand. Can't hear you. No, sir, I do not understand. Okay. I do not. So. Let me ask I you do this. not so consent. I do not comply. Okay. I am a free citizen. Oh, nobody's arguing that uh, you're a free man. I mean, you're not exactly in jail yet, but uh, you're about to be, and you're about to lose those freedoms temporarily because you are a freaking sm smooth brain moron who thought it'd be better to uh, huff gallons of glue in his enclosed garage than... Uh, actually go out and do some research and find out how much of a true moron you are to begin with. Traveling on the highways. Okay. Thank you. It's all in there. It's The laws are in there. The Supreme Court laws and everything. And it's Oregon laws. Let's see what else have we got here. Uh, oh God, I have got things for days. First off, here is something you should read. Wait, I can't hear, sir. What is... That's something you should read right off okay. of the bat. What is this that you're handing me? It is this, it is Oregon law. Okay. And, and what I have referring to your to my vehicle your and, and all that? yes, sir. It's all there. Okay. Well, so I'm trying to I'm trying to make this as simple as we can. So am I, sir. Am I am I being detained? So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Am I being detained? Uh, I'm sorry. Again, you're going to have to Am I over. being detained? Right now you are, sir. Then I, uh... I, I can't hear you. Then I refuse to make any further statements okay. based on the uh, grounds okay. that it might tend to incriminate well, you. Yeah, you invoke your Fifth Amendment right uh, from this point on. This is probably the most intelligent thing you've said during this whole traffic stop. Too bad it's a bit late to say that. You should have kept your mouth shut from the very beginning. Yeah, because I don't need this, okay? If you have, let's see, is that so What I'm asking you to do is go ahead and step out of the vehicle, okay? At this point, you are under arrest for failing to carry and present driver's license, okay? So, uh, listen to me very carefully. You're trespassing, sir. If you do anything other than what I say, now I'm gonna take that as a you're resisting arrest. Do you understand? You're trespassing. Do you understand sir. what I'm saying? No, sir, I do not. Okay. You're trespassing. At this point, you're under arrest. Do you understand? You're trespassing. Okay. Sir. Call my lawyer. Call. That's fine. I need you to take your seatbelt off and step out of the vehicle. Well, stupid is as stupid does, and well, it just goes to show you that you can't get any dumber these days than a damn soft tart because you, when you think you know everything, that's when you know the least and this guy well he definitely proved that to be the definite article right here true dunning kruger effect so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one